After eight years of this liberal NDP government, carbon taxes are driving up the cost of food. People are literally turning to dumpsters because they can't afford groceries. A report from the Toronto Star says dumpster diving is a new trend. So here's what you won't read in the Star. Conservatives will axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget and stop the crime. What does the Toronto Star have to write in order for this radical environment minister to show some compassion and stop the 23 percent April 1st tax hike for all Canadians. As I said, on this side of the house, we'll continue to fight climate change while putting money back into the pockets of Canadian families and pay attention to the most vulnerable in this country. Mr. Speaker, the radical environment minister who couldn't sell his own carbon tax, which the prime minister had to rebrand, won't even get up and answer the question. How is he going to rebrand dumpster diving? This is the minister who wants to ban cars, ban roads, ban Canadian energy, ban straws and ban stoves and tells Canadians that they have it better. We all know that after eight years, this tired government and the environment minister are out of control. But will someone over there stand up for struggling Canadians and let him walk back his carbon tax hike like he has to do with everything else. Oh, Speaker, I'd like to remind Canadians, Canadians know that on this side of the house, we believe you can fight climate change and have a prosperous future for our children, Mr. Speaker. Fight climate change and ensure Canada will lead in the 21st century. In scrutinizing Justin Trudeau's Liberal Party for imposing a carbon tax and its adverse effects on government environmental initiatives, Melissa Lanceman voices concerns about the burgeoning trend of scavenging for discarded items as a means of coping with the struggle to afford food. These critiques underscore conservative worries regarding the substantial economic burden imposed on Canadians due to the tax. They reflect a frustration with governmental policies that may erode individual freedoms and contribute to economic hardship. This prompts a call for individuals to be accountable for their lives, emphasizing the importance of personal choice and responsibility. Despite these concerns, there remains a hopeful perspective that the carbon tax might be the catalyst for extinguishing the influence of the Justin Trudeau Liberal Party in Canadian politics. Additionally, Lanceman's advocacy for a 23% reduction in tax increases and her disapproval of the Environment Minister's proposal to ban various items align with democratic values that prioritize individual freedom and economic responsibility.